Imagine holding a plant so powerful it could either heal or kill with just a few drops. In the 1700s, when medical knowledge was still in its infancy, nature's deadliest gardens held both salvation and destruction. Meet Atropa belladonna, the deadly nightshade, whose sinister beauty could trigger hallucinations or death. While assassins exploited its lethal properties, healers used activated charcoal to save their patients from its grip. The infamous hemlock, which claimed Socrates' life, brought death through muscle paralysis. Desperate healers attempted to combat its effects with warm milk, though no true antidote existed. Foxglove, nature's double-edged sword, could either regulate heartbeats or stop them forever. Physicians of the era used calcium salts and diuretics to flush out its toxic compounds. The monkshood was so potent that even touching it could prove fatal. Folk medicine practitioners turned to vinegar-mixed milk as a desperate remedy, though death often prevailed. Black henbane rounded out this deadly arsenal, causing hallucinations and fatal comas. Traditional healers relied on induced vomiting and chamomile tea to counter its effects. In an age before modern antidotes, folk healers fought poison with herbal teas, purging techniques, and activated charcoal. The same nature that harbored death also held life. The difference lay in the knowledge of how to use it.